Welcome to an example of an enterprise security platform whiteboard executive conversation. A couple of points. First of all, a whiteboard conversation is exactly that. It's a dialogue between the customer and the sales person. Here, we're going to emphasize discovery with the customer, obviously establishing credibility with the customer and with the objective of getting the customer to agree to an evaluation. First, we'll talk with the customer about their current situation in discovery, asking them questions about their network and the security on their network and how they implement it to give ourselves a little bit more of a background with the customer and where they are situated. With the customer, at some point, say, let me get up to, I'll go up to the board and begin to put the bullet points, the key bullet points on the board. And I do that. Next, I'm going to put on the board a bold value premise. It's bold because I want to put myself out there, maybe raising some eyebrows in the room, room, but everything I say is true around our platform. Next, I want to talk to the customer about what we see as Palo Alto Networks in the overall mar marketplace. We're credible. We're out there. This is all we do. So we talk to them about what we see out there with firewalls, what we see with customers who use their own tools to maybe do ad hoc or disjointed security measures. Finally, we talk a little bit about you know, the super people that are in every one of these, these enterprises to establish and maintain and, and be the watchdogs of security, which we know, because they don't have a platform, will normally fail. And so we start to list some of the things that we see in general in the marketplace, and certainly the customer will see that what we see with them is not different, any different than what's in the marketplace. Next, we're going to go and we're going to talk about consequences for customers that we have experienced with and potential consequences this customer might experience if they don't have a platform. And we'll list those. Certainly cost is always an issue, organizational cost, manual process. And we list these, getting agreement with the customer and having them chime in and adding to the list because they're already experiencing it. Once we get them to agree to consequence, we are now ready to start talking about the Palo Alto Network's enterprise security platform. We're going to talk about our approach to a platform, which we start with, of course, the next generation intelligent cloud. And then we'll list a few bullet points there. Talk to them, and everything we are putting on the board, we want to relate to their current situation, what, the, what we see in the marketplace, and at different times, the consequences that they would expect to realize if they don't have a platform. So we go and we talk about the cloud, then we're going to talk about the next generation firewall, what it does, some of the key aspects. Once again, we're supporting the bold value premise and we're addressing the issues that are not only in the market, which this customer may not even realize yet, but also the issues <clears throat> that they are realizing in their own enterprise network. Finally, or third, we're going to talk about the end, is advanced endpoint protection. Certainly, major concern for every company with with BYOD and various other various other things that enter into the endpoint. Uh, so now we've covered the triad, and what we're going to do in the final here is really explicitly explain why it's different that it is fully that it is purpose built that it is system to system write down the list of capabilities because this is the Palo Alto Networks built this with the customer enterprise in mind next